Well, again, YouTubers, I'm with SpongeBob 101, back here again on the SpongeBob channel for part 39 of our SpongeBob Adventures in a Jam playthrough. If you missed out any previous part, of course, link to the playlist is in the iCards and description box below. So we have a new Bargain Mart Suite or Leaderboard um, event here to go through, and this is the second one. It's not the latest which is uh, supposed to be the halloween event but it does have as you can see a lot of rewards from the hell or halloween themed rewards so uh spoiler alert i did not get any of these prizes at the end of this round of the uh, bargain mart sweep but i can tell you that i am attempting to be to stay in at least the top 10 at the in the current halloween event currently ongoing october 30th Alrighty, so yeah, we are still here in Lost in Couch. This is where we of course left off and I'm continuing what I uh, started experimenting with in the previous video that is basically speeding up the uh, general like removal of obstacles because it's just kind of mundane, frankly, even for me to just rewatch everything and comment over every single thing. Uh, the only interesting part is that I'm not going to be speeding through of course will be the dialogue and that is very important because that's where you get the story right so that's pretty much the only uh, like somewhat entertaining thing about this event uh, in terms of how long it went i'd say the rewards are great but the storyline is kind of boring charge batteries quest complete there we go, because, um, you know, you kind of have to go through two entire maps, although it's fairly easy to do uh, just that, you know, you got to keep watching the ads and so on. So, yeah, let's keep looking for the uh, whatever we need to look for. Was it the winder? Yeah, the winder. OK, so that's going to cost 12. And again, I always record voiceovers after I finish recording the footage because I actually record the footage uh, whenever I'm able to play the game. And that's not necessarily like times where I can, you know, voiceover. So yeah, uh, in terms of the game pass, we are super close to our first post level 14 reward. And um, just one FYI, the game pass is has another run right now uh, as of October 30th, 2023. And if you're watching this way ahead in time, you know, one year or something, of course, uh, this doesn't apply anymore. But I'm just saying, you know, as of October 30th, 2023, we are having another game pass with a different, well, special reward. So Broken Toy Robot, we can fix that. And the batteries are going to fall out. Okay. So a strange fight quest complete. Monkey Robots. Oh, so he generates batteries, or is that just a one-time thing? I think it's just a one-time thing, but yeah, uh, we need to bring the batteries over to the Remoto Dragon, which we left up last time, and there we go. Once the batteries are in him, he coughs out something. Oh, Mr. Dragon, I have a treat for you. Well, we kind of already gave it to him. SpongeBob, you're starting to worry me. <laughs> Sorry, I just got excited. I think the dragon and I are becoming friends. It would be nice to get dialogue from the dragon, though. That's sweet, but what about my wallet? Oh, right, sorry. Let me just load up my new pal with batteries and I'll be on my way. One super cool thing would be to ride on it. Would you change my batteries if I needed you to? Patrick, how can you even ask that? You know I would. Okay. Okay, just checking. Yeah, but yeah, it would be pretty cool if you could, like, ride on the remote dragon. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, then again, never, probably never gonna happen in a game like this. How is it going, SpongeBob? Great, Patrick the Remoto Dragon gave me a tiny electric fan. Electric fan? He gave it to you? <laughs> well, he spit it out and I picked it up and he didn't try to stop me. So, yeah. Well, I told you it gets weird in there sometimes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, though. Okay, I'm sure you'll think of something. We sure will. So we have poor dragon, quest complete. And next up, oh, main mission, finally. So we're gonna actually access Patrick's wallet now, which is about time. But the map is still really big, so I don't think we really are going to be accessing the wallet just yet. So without further ado, let's begin. Oh, yeah, our next milestone. Pretty good rewards there, so yeah. As I said earlier, the rewards of this event are basically the main reason why I'm even playing this, aside from the fact that I'm just doing a video for. And 
I'm actually thinking of how this is actually going to be sustainable in the long run, frankly speaking, because、um, over the past few years, okay, so I'm not going to get into a monologue here about the future of the channel, and I'm really not sure because, like, as it's cool and all to make the videos and all,、um, I'm going to be starting work soon. I just graduated college. And、um, the work is going to be really, really tough. So, you know, I'm, I'm really thinking of how I can optimize my time the best as possible. But、uh, we'll pause here and we'll take a look at the dialogue. Ew, gross. What's the problem, SpongeBob? There's a bunch of icky cobwebs blocking the path. Okay. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Not really. What are you thinking? That you should dust more? No, silly. Use your new electric fan to blow the cobwebs out of your way. Oh, how convenient. Smart idea, Patrick. I'll do it. But you should probably dust more often, regardless. One thing at a time, pal. Okay, quest complete. Main mission. Which is kind of not very appropriate because the main mission isn't over just yet. But yeah, let's blow that cobweb away. And the hallway continues. Spider's quest complete. Okay, continue searching. The last steps. You know, when the game says like the last steps, I still don't really believe it because the map is still that like unexplored, right? You still have so much to explore. So now we're going to continue speeding through here. And yeah,、uh, I think I'm going to be prioritizing episode reviews, but I don't know. I don't know what I should prioritize, honestly, because.、Uh, Episode reviews take a lot more work to, to do because I have to think about what I really think about the episode. You know, nowadays when I watch SpongeBob, frankly, I'm not really thinking that in depth about it. I just watch it for the silly entertainment. And sometimes, you know, there's a really good plot, but frankly speaking, I, to a certain extent, I feel like I've been outgrowing the cartoon a little bit. So. Yeah, you know, maybe it's just a growing up thing. And it's a little late to grow up, but I still like SpongeBob, don't get me wrong. But, you know, in terms of the episodes, it's like I'm just watching it and enjoying it for the sake of enjoying it, you know? Okay, let's get to the dialogue here. Or if there is any dialogue. <laughs> Look at all the socks. It's just strange. Hey, Patrick, I think I found your shell phone. Okay, I didn't know I lost it. Wait, so he could just open a drawer? Well, someone's, somebody's shell phone is down here and it's in my way. Can you move it? It's gigantic. There seems to be a gathering of s o c k a d a c t y l babies in front of it. I think they call it a clutch. A clutch? A what? <laughs> yeah, a what? What does that mean? A clutch. A clutch of s o c k a d a c t y l s Is that what it's called? Like a pack of birds or something? Well, I'll try to fix it without distracting them. Okay, the last step's quest complete. I assume the story will end once we get to the 400 couches milestone, so we're really, really close at this point, which is a good sign. Okay, so we have to get over there, and we're gonna speed through this real quick to find some distraction, right? So, yeah,、uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Do you prefer me making these kind of playthrough videos, or would you prefer to see episode reviews if you just had to pick one? Um, but then again, I'm really not sure if I even will have time to do videos. But we'll, we'll see as, as it comes, I guess, unfortunately. Okay, so we have our Game Pass reward here 30 energy and 200 coins. This is repeatable, but I'm not going to even bother about a Game Pass anymore because, or at least for now, because as you saw from the timer, we only had 16 hours left on that old Game Pass. For a new Game Pass, of course, we'll try to get to level 14 once again. Okay, so now we need a lasso, and the game directs us all the way back down to、uh, the couch zone. Which,、uh, first of all, we do need the cobwebs because they are like the materials you need to make the lasso. Which, if you think about it, doesn't really make much sense because cobwebs or spider webs in the first place aren't that like sturdy. So, yeah, let's make the lasso. We've got a lasso, and we need to fix whatever it was. Was it an antenna or something? Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, we needed to fish out the antenna from the pile of junk. Makes sense. And also the random pile of stuff. Random. Okay, so repair. 
I think I got it working again. Um, yep. Maybe you can make it ring or play music or something. That probably scare the babies away. Or away the babies. I think it's time for the Lurch Lurkins Hour. Maybe you can play that. You mean like Perch Perkins? <laughs> Everybody's favorite, second favorite newscaster? I'll do it. But why Lurch though? Like why replace the P with an L? Not sure. An explanation would be great though. So yeah, they are distracted. What do you know? It worked. Okay. Yeah, Lurch Lurkins can really clear a room <laughs> in the sense like, like it's so boring. And I just saw where all the baby Sockodactyls went. Follow them, SpongeBob. Okay, let's follow them. Way ahead of you, pal. They're too cute not to follow. All right, another quest. Hello, who is this? Quest complete. Next up, Sock Pass. Okay, so it's gonna be over there. You know, I think a lot of the items that you actually see in this Lost and Couch event zone could really make great collectibles. So, um, you know like how Spongebob has his collectibles in his pineapple? And you can collect all those items and then you, if you have enough of them, you can redeem the rewards. It would be great if they actually implemented something like that for Patrick too. So, uh, maybe you could tap on Patrick's rock instead and also get to access Patrick's like collection of stuff. That would be really cool to see so hey you know if anyone's from anyone from will app the developers you know if you're watching this video i just gave you a brilliant idea <laughs> yeah okay and maybe you can make one for squidward too you know like make all the characters have their own like personal collections that would be really really cool to see and also it would kind of incentivize like you know removing obstacles and in, in the hopes or even submitting orders or fulfilling orders, excuse me, in order to get those exclusive gift items, which can be used to uh, complete the collections, right? So yeah, let's remove that. Almost there, I think. Also, uh, since I'm actually recording this, uh, I can tell you I did try my best to clear out uh, the area as much as possible by the end of the event, and it's really great, I tell you, the rewards are awesome. Okay, I think I found their nest, Patrick. I just said that in a very weird way. And it's made out of a shoe. Is it a nice shoe? It's a nice nest anyway, and I think your wallet is in it. Why does Patrick even have a shoe like that? That's great, good, whatever. But the mother Sockodactyl is in the nest too. That's bad. <laughs> but I have an idea. Okay, genius Patrick in motion here. That's good. See how much couch lint you can find. Lint? Just trust me. Okie dokie then. So, yeah, uh, sock pass quest complete. Alrighty, find where Man Ray is hiding. Over there, so we have to restore the lint fabric. I guess that's the very end of the map. That's really nice, actually. Finally, we're getting to the end of the event. Uh, unlikely to finish in this video itself, but we'll get there when we get there. Energy recharge here. Let's barrel through these obstacles if I can actually find the appropriate one to remove the fog and get our well get on our way forward. So yeah. Uh, also the at TV there position right there very convenient I would say. You definitely can miss that. So I've, I haven't actually been hunting for those, uh, but then again, really, is there a necess necessity to do so? Because if you think about it, especially in the main story, you have to use a lot of energy to remove obstacles. Here, it's not that bad, but aside from the ones that you've seen through this, like playthrough in the Lost in Couch zone, I haven't found any other at TV, so maybe those three or four, I think there were four in the couch, three in the couch zone and one here. Uh, are all of them pretty much okay so yeah and if you're wondering about the three i was talking about uh, it's near the river the ball of yarn and the launch pad the springboard thingy okay so um any dialogue here find where man ray is hiding quest complete is this the last quest or is there one more because i mean i see man ray be showing up here okay feed the socks oh oh so we're not done yet 
yeah, we, we do have to get Patrick's wallet, so I, I guess fine. Yeah, again, we're not up to 400, so maybe this is the second last quest, because I assume the last quest will have to be like defeating Man Ray or something. So anyways, let's get the lint, or whatever it is, I forgot what I said, was the uh, harvest. I think it was lint fabric, right? small wires? Okay, never mind. I'm living like behind time. <laughs> And we are also really close to level 23, so I think we should be able to get up to level 23 by the end of this video. Day 16, daily reward. If you haven't noticed, I've been kind of ignoring the rewards um, on voiceover because we've seen them so many times, guys. If you've been watching this playthrough, daily rewards are like, yeah, I think the only ones that are cool are the day 20 ones because you get that extra treasure chest which you can put on your own Bikini Bottom map. And that gives you like, I think, 500 or 1000 coins as a bonus on top of what you already got as the Day 20 reward. So yeah. It would be cool if there are other things that can, can actually come out of that chest. Like, you know, maybe exploration points perhaps? To make it a little bit easier to level up in that aspect, but... Uh, we'll see, you know, maybe they could change it. And also, uh, yeah, a lot of... I keep getting comments like, why is your energy capacity 82? Like, I have answered that question so many times. So uh, if you're new to this playthrough and you're watching this and, and I didn't respond to your comment, I'm sorry. I just don't want to keep responding to the same question over and over again because, yeah... I, I've like repeated it so many times <laughs> and okay I'll state it once more all right it's because they had energy capacity upgrades when you leveled up before the worldwide release i.e before September 26th 2023 so if you played when it was like in the beta version in the beta mode when it was only available in certain countries yeah that's when they allow you to get energy capacity upgrades. I don't understand why they removed it. Like, what is the reason? Is it just attempt kits to convince their parents to pay real money to get the currency just to speed things up? Because from what I've gathered, like, it's just an, an, the biggest annoyance of this entire game. And it's something that actually wants to, I mean, something that can induce players to just quit because it's just so frustrating to be stuck at a maximum of 50 energy at any one time that you can respond, you know? So whether or not, I mean, we've already gone a, over a month since the worldwide release. So I'm not sure if the developers are even considering reverting that change or not, but hopefully they do because for me, I really don't want to keep answering that same question over and over again. Like, why is your energy capacity 82? I I mean, I know, but like, I can't keep telling you, right? So, yeah. <laughs> that rant over. I have acquired a bounty of lint, Patrick. Why is the lint coming out of the clothes? Now you need to roll up all that lint into little worm shapes. Gross. Why? We need to get a Sockadactyl to feed them to her babies. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what are you planning? Yeah, we need to distract them if you're gonna get my wallet. I sure hope this plan works. You know how he could get his wallet? Just open the drawer and grab it. We'll jump off that bridge when we get to it, Spongebob. I'm not sure how that's the saying goes, Patrick. Yeah, uh, you know, sometimes don't trust Patrick entirely. But yeah, this lint coming out of the clothes it's gross. I think that's the grossest thing I've seen in this event. It just looks wrong, you know? Uh, but yeah, we have our lint. So lint snack, quest complete. Okay, Sockadactyl's nest, feed the socks. So let's go over there. And sock food. We need five more. Oh, we have to make the sock food. I assume we're gonna... The, yeah, the ball of yarn. Okay, so we're gonna have to get that done. And I'll cut back once we are, or almost done. So, yeah. Okay. Claim our free gems here. And I'm still on the hunt for... Oh yeah, so we have the Lin food. And 
we're gonna go back and feed it to the Sockadactyls. If it's even enough. I think we had to have five. Or, okay, so we have four. We need to make one more. So that means back to the couch zone once again. Okay, so we have our lost order to level up to level 23. 50 energy, 620 coins, and another tree plot it looks like so yeah i guess that actually kind of is underwhelming i thought we got to get a little bit more you know 21 946 so i guess level 23 would be 22,000. i think i'll end off the video here guys so make sure to subscribe like and then next one we'll finally complete the lost and couch event and stop or put a stop to man ray once and for all or for now so yeah till next one see you guys later bye